Hey YouTube, this is Kelsey Adalgo, your local Las Vegas realtor. Today we're looking at Beezer Homes, Crosswind Estates. They're a single story, single family home. And unfortunately they only have one model, but they will have three different models. It's a tiny community with only 21 lots being sold here. Uh, they do have a couple quick move-ins, so I'll have the link for this community listed in the description, so check that out. But today we're looking at the Dawson and it's right behind me. So I'm gonna turn this video around and let's get started on that tour. Okay, so we're here in Henderson and this is the elevation. They have actually three different elevation styles. I believe this one is the arts and crafts or uh, it could be a Spanish colonial. Uh, I'll have that on the screen, the details of the home and also I'll have the different elevations placed on screen for you. All right, as you can see, the elevation design here, you got some stones, you got those shutters, those blue shutters, and definitely have the Spanish kind of roofing. And we look at the side of the home over here. So this is the Dawson. So the Dawson, Dawson is 2,100 square feet, pretty large for a single story, three to four bedrooms. So when they say three to four bedrooms, that means you can actually convert, I believe on the first floor they may have a den, and you could convert that either to an office space or a bedroom space. So they'll give you that option, and two and a half to three bathrooms, that usually means the powder room can turn into a three-fourths bathroom, complete bathroom. So it'll be a tight fit to fit that shower, that, uh, that shower in there, but yeah, it will be, you can have that choice, so. All right, and let's take a look at the other side. Again, in the intro, if I haven't mentioned it, uh, this is not. There's not going to be any amenities here in this location. It's a quite. It's really small community, as you can see. If we take a look, this is just how big it is. So it's just one cul-de-sac, and that would be 21 home sites and lots. And right across the street, there's a recreation center. So if you wanna take walks, I believe there's a dog park 10 minutes away or eight to 10 minutes away, there's a Walmart. Uh, it's called Victory Village Plaza. You can check that out. I'll also post that on the description so you can check out what's there. There's a bunch of, there's grocery stores, um, nail salons, everything that you need. Okay, when we walk in, so you do have this paper stone driveway. I just wanted to note that this is is a two car garage? Yeah, two car garage, paper stone. That's gonna come with the home. Also, you got this paper stone walkway into the home as well. Oh, as soon as you walk in, you got an eight foot door into the entrance. And there's nine foot ceilings. That nice. And so when we walk, when we turn around over here, we are see those two front windows that we saw that's the first bedroom here really nice this is a very large room here it, especially with the nine foot ceilings it makes the room even larger okay you know, your reach in closet you got a couple windows in here to get some natural light really nice hey so again Here's the complete bathroom, and that's right next to the first bedroom. And you got like your towel closet over here. And you also have your insert, your fiberglass, tub shower combination, which is usually the standard for most new builds. So, got a 32 inch uh, tub. 
looks like they have like a silver finish over here and yeah looks like it's adult height vanity over here for the sink it's pretty wise how nice now here is bedroom number two wow this one's about the same size i would say maybe a little bit larger than the first bedroom that we saw we got one window in here give some natural light again with the same setup with the reach-in closet over here and looks like this is where the attic is going to be so you can have some storage space up there as well okay so this setup is going to be it's going to be a little bit different than what you see over here because of the fact that the garage is now a uh, for now it's the Beezer Home sales agent's offices right now, but this is gonna be the garage. So this full setup is gonna look kind of different. And walk in. So we just completed looking at two different bedrooms. We're walking down this way. Looks like you have another bathroom over here. Okay. And you have this over here. You can put some more storage space countertop maybe some decor walking over here hey every coat hanger closet okay so you definitely have a choice here to choose different setup for your kitchens so as you can see over here these are homes gives you the choice plans you can change it up the kitchen setup over here but this is what they have laid out over here this is kitchen b really nice i like the nine foot ceilings it makes the space look so much larger and more open easy to walk through each space over here so the multi-function room over here i love that they have its own little private setup over here for the living room space for the family room area you can see yeah, nice okay you got your you got a large island countertop too and like I said I wish I had a large island countertop in my home as well but I don't it won't fit in my house but as you can see it creates a great seating area love to have parties at my house so that's a really good feature that they have here at the Dawson as we walk around we're taking a look at the appliances it looks like whirlpool and Moen for the fixture for the faucet. Uh, all the other appliances, if you were to choose from Beezer Homes, you can get the Whirlpool refrigerator. And okay, nice. All right, now we walk into kitchen pantry closet over here. It's like you have your fuse box here. Not sure if that's going to be in the other homes being built right, your kitchen pantry closet again there's going to be a door here you know for all video for all tours it makes uh it's easier access for agents and also clients okay and you'll see oh i like this so the oven and the burner here it's electric and it is kind of built into the countertop here so it's it's like inserted in there. That's really nice. It's very clean and flush. Okay, nice backsplash. Pretty sure you can choose your backsplash too. Okay, and then you have the option. You know, I believe you could place your dining room table here. Be the option to put it here as well. You know, however you want to design your household. And so you have an eight foot sliding door into the backyard and you see it's a covered patio and typically uh, the backyard patio area, whatever it covers, that's going to be completed with paver stone below it. But anything that's not covered, it's going to be complete dirt. So sales agent here had mentioned that the backyard here is one of the smaller uh, lots. So all the remaining lots are going to be much larger in the backyard space. More roomier, more spacious than this. So let's go ahead and take a look at the backyard. Okay. 
Again, it's a really cool setup, really cool design. And you got your shutters on the window. Or like a shutter window design, you would say. It's just, it doesn't really do much, but just for the design of the home, okay. So again, you didn't, ha you don't have to landscape it just like this. Uh, you, you know, you'll have up to a year. $49 is the HOA fee here. So, but typically they allow you one year to get it landscaped. Otherwise they'll be, you know, on your butt about it. So, okay. I will walk back inside. Hey, I want to note, you know, these little small square windows here in the main room area. And you got this big window too sliding window and it does give you some natural light looks like there are some drop down sprinklers over there okay nice pendant light system over here now we're going i don't think we hit the laundry room yet so let's go to the laundry room and really nice you got your router set up over here this is where all your router is so your hvac system is easily accessible over here. You could change your AC, what is it, your, your AC filter over here as well. So Whirlpool appliances, washer and dryer. You got a little shelf over here. And obviously you do have an attic entrance over there for some storage. Okay. Now we're marching into the last part of the home, which is the primary suite as we walk in. Okay. Really nice. Spacious enough to fit a California King. You got a large window, bring that natural light, little small windows too. Really great. And as we look, so again, with the choice plans here in Beezer Homes, they offer different, different uh, plans on how you want to build your bathroom setup. Okay, as you can see, there's bathroom A, primary bathroom A, primary room bathroom B. So this is typically standard right here. You got a walk-in shower. His tile. So everything that you see is pretty much standard over here. And shoes upgrade material. You got uh, adult high vanities. You got the dual sink setup. And then you got your towels closet over here. You got your prime, I mean your bathroom, your toilet, and it's enclosed. So we should have a door here. And then we walk in over here. So this is open. Your closet is not going to be a door. And this is the primary suite closet. It's pretty large, really nice. Got nice lights here as well. You can see. And that's it. So just know the transition in the flooring from hard, you know, from the luxury vinyl plank to the carpet in the bedrooms, in the wet areas. Okay. That's it for this. So I will put the details for the other home that are not being presented in this video. All right. Hey guys, thank you for joining me for this video. I really appreciate your support. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and share. Click that bell notification for the latest and newest updates of all the new builds being, here, being built here in Las Vegas. Appreciate all of your support. Thank you and God bless.